My name is Bonnie Stump. We built this house in Georgetown, Texas about two years ago using Fazwall. You can see the Fazwall through the, uh, on the dining room wall here. And uh, we plastered the interior walls with a natural clay plaster. While we were building the house, we were approached by an architect named Bruce Thacker who uh, was a specialist in natural materials and he suggested that we use a natural clay. So they added a little bit of pigment and then they hand troweled it onto the whole interior surface of the house uh, in three layers, each layer a little finer than the last, and they get this beautiful velvety finish of plaster. Because if you get a little nail hole like this, or a little nick where somebody bumps into the wall, you can just take a wet rag, just smooth it out, and the hole will just disappear as the plaster dissolves back into a, a flat surface. So we've really been happy with this, uh, with this plaster finish, and one of the people always remark on it when they come in here. They just say it looks so warm and soft, it looks like Adobe. We've just been really happy with the way it looks and the way it's held up. Because the, the block is 10 or 12 inches thick, we uh, have these nice deep windowsills and we put tile on the windowsill because they make perfect places for plants to grow. We nailed the uh, hardy plank to the furring strips. So, there is no water coming into this house. <laughs>
you have to reduce the energy needs of the home down to as low as possible. And this, uh, this particular lot here is kind of nicely situated for that. This is, this is a, a classic passive solar design. It's a long, narrow house oriented east-west. And on the south, there is uh, a very large overhang that is specifically designed so that only the summer, win only the uh, winter sun can come in. In the winter, the sun goes across the southern horizon here in our, our latitude. And in the summer, it goes eff effectively straight overhead. So the north side of the house does not get much sun. And so you can put lots of windows on the north side. And the south side, you have to be very careful with. You only want to let the sun in in the winter. And of course, the solar array needs to be up on the south side and tilted so it can still catch the winter sun. Because it, in the winter, the sun just goes across the, the southern sky. When I first got this Fazwell block, you know, I thought, oh man, I'm going to have to go get a brick saw. And, or, you know, a big rock saw, which is a great big blade, a couple thousand bucks. I mean, and Paul kept telling me, oh, you can just cut it with hand tools, I didn't believe it. And then after we worked with it for a while, we realized you could cut it with hand tools. In fact, you could work it just like wood. In fact, it worked easier than wood, and it doesn't, uh, it doesn't even wear out the blades, which, uh, which was sort of a revelation. The other really great thing about Fazwall is that it will hold a screw or a nail. You can you can uh, screw it together, glue it together. Well, and my, the neighborhood here where we're working, there are a lot of masons. And my son David was picking up one of these blocks, and he picked it up. I can't do it really, but he picked it up with one hand to put it over some steel. And the masons saw him, and they thought he was Superman because they thought it was a real. <laughs> They thought it was a real uh, CMU block, you know, that weighed about 60, 70 pounds, but it doesn't weigh that much, so <laughs> it's pretty easy to handle. It's at least a third the weight of a CMU block.